Welcome back, Prospect Live viewers. We're back with another 2020 MLB Draft player profile. Joining me today, courtesy of PerfectGame.org, PG's National Scouting Supervisor, Brian Sikowski. Brian, today we're going to be breaking down Wake Forest left-handed pitcher, native of New Bedford, Massachusetts. I say that because I'm from the area. Jared Schuster, a uh, guy that really broke out here uh, over the shortened season in 2020. Um, it's kind of a, a what if scenario for him. He really ticked up in terms of what his fastball velocity was. Um, the changeup looked like it ticked up as well, just because of you know um, the, the quality of that fastball and how much it improved. But when I saw him here on the Cape, where he wasn't even throwing the changeup that much, um, what are your thoughts on Schuster? He's a big mover, you know, since the beginning of uh, 2020, of course. Yeah, he's one of those guys that we've talked about where a full season might have seen him way higher than he is now. Uh, because of the way he was performing, but now with the way the season went down, that is objectively a short track record of performing that well. So, you know, it's tough for teams, but at the same time, the the increase in stuff along with the increase in command, um, you know, it's not like by magic that he was having better results this year. It's the stuff was, was significantly better. Uh, he, he was always like an 88, 92 guy. And then I think the you know, you can tell me this, the, the velo started to tick up a little bit on the Cape. And then this spring, he was up to 96, 97 in those starts and, and, and blowing mid-90s consistently. Um, the changeup's always been a really good pitch for him. I, I know that, and like you said earlier, it, he didn't throw it a lot on the Cape because they wanted him so badly to work on his slider, um, which was something he needed to do. That was a, a profile limitation for him, was he was a changeup oriented lefty with an average fastball and a well-below average breaking ball. And, and now with the advancements in the velocity, the advancements in, in the command, the slider is now a pitch that you could see as average, which it never was before. Yeah. And so now, now you're thinking maybe this guy's a three pitch starter. And now it's, if the, if the slider is average, that's fine. Cause the other two are pluses now and, and he's throwing strikes and it's a good build. Uh, it looks like a starter. There's a lot of traits there. So yeah, it's with that type of stuff, that type of performance over the course of a full season, like, is that a top 15 player? It might be. Uh, yeah. But right now with, with the limited track record, I think late, you know, late on day one, early day two type of guy. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit too, because there's a few, I'll say, change up first or change up oriented uh, repertoire, left-handed pitchers here out of the college ranks, right kind of clustered into the same area with Ian Seymour and then Nick Swinney and other two guys that we've already covered. How would you sort of rate Schuster versus the the two of them? Because body wise, he probably has the you know the most prototypical starter build of the yeah. three. Yeah, I, I think that um, while Swinney doesn't throw as hard, I think Swinney's breaking ball is is better than Schuster's. While the changeups are similar, uh, and in the same vein, uh, and we talked about Seymour already on, on a different broadcast, but uh, the changeup is is might be better than Schuster's or, um, you know, Schuster, but the breaking ball is not really above average and he doesn't throw all that hard, even with the, like we talked about earlier with the the new traits to the fastball. So I think it, it line up like that. I think Swinney, Schuster, um, Seymour on our board, but I, you know, teams may have that vastly different, you know, just, just from our perspective, I think that that's how they line up. So last question here, Brian, where do you think Schuster ends up going? I would assume probably early day two. Is there any chance he sneaks into the back end of day one? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if one of the teams who takes a high school kid early, you know, like has one of those second picks and, and they see him as their guy, as, as the college arm that's available to them there, then sure. I, I think he's potentially a target for Detroit right away at um, the first pick of day one or day two, pardon me. Um, yeah, it could be anywhere in there. Like if you told me 30 to 45, like somewhere in there, I think. Sounds good. All right, let's wrap this up. Uh, that was the Jared Schuster breakdown. Uh, 2020 MLB draft player profile. We'll be back with more. Thanks for tuning in.